Hi, today we're going to see how to create a Galaxy Effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So the first thing we need to do is to turn this layer here into black and white. So go to colors, hue and saturation, and now reduce the saturation all the way down. So here it is, and now press OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer one time. So click on this icon. And now I'm going to reduce the opacity here of this layer. I'm going to reduce it around 65, press enter. So now I'm going to change the color of this layer. So go to colors and then colorize. So I'm going to change it into blue color, this one here. And now press OK. And now I'm going to duplicate this blue layer and then change the color. So click on this icon and then go to colors and then colorize again. And now I'm going to change it to red. So here it is and I'll press OK. And now I'm going to hide the top one, the red one here, select the move tool, left click here. So select the blue layer, this one here, left click on the layer here. And now keep the control key down here while moving the layer using the move tool. So here it is, move down the same line. So here it is. And now click on the eye icon here on the red layer, this one here. And now I'm just going to do the same thing. Make sure on the move tool, left click. And then keep the control key down here and then move it to the right. So here like this. So here it is. You can see the edges here of the layer, of the red layer, and then the blue layer. So here it is. So now right click new from visible. Now I'm going to add horizontal lines here. So create a new layer, click on this icon, fill it to transparency, and then press OK. And now go to filters, render, pattern, and then grid. And now I'm going to change the color here to white. So here it is, press OK. And now since I want just horizontal lines, click on the chain icon here. And now reduce the line width. So here it is. And now if you want to increase the number of lines here, you can just move this slider here. So I think here I'm OK. So I'm going to leave it here. And now press OK. And now change the layer mode here, this layer here into overlay. And now I'm going to reduce a little bit the opacity. So here it is. So now I'm going to delete these layers here. I don't need them anymore. So here it is. I'm going to show this layer. So here it is. So now I'm going to merge down these two layers. So click on this icon. And now go to filters, distort, and then ripple. So now gives it wavy effect. So I'm just going to reduce it. So I just want a very slight effect. So I'm going to type one, press enter. So here, and now press OK. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer. So here it is. Now I'm going to hide the bottom one. And now select the rectangle selection tool. So now I'm going to make selections here. Make sure the mode here, the rectangle selection tool is at the current selection. Now I'm just going to create multiple selections here. This. So here it is, press enter. And now control X to cut, and then control V to paste. So as you can see, it's floating selection. And now click on this icon here to paste it on a new layer. And now select the move tool. And now left click here on the layer, and then keep the control key down here while moving it. Here I'm going to move to the right. So here it is, I think here it's okay. And now I'm going to hide it. And now select the layer here, this one here. Select the rectangle selection tool. And now, just as before, I'm going to make selections here. So here it is, and now press enter. And now Control X, and then Control V to paste. So as before, it's floating selection. And now just click on this icon here to paste it on a new layer. And now select the Move tool. And now for this one, I'm just going to move to the left. So select the move tool, left click, and also move to with your arrows here. I'm going to just click on the left arrow. So here it is. As you can see, it's moving. Click on the right arrow. It's moving to, to the right. So I'm going to move to the left. So here it is. And now I'm going to click on the eye icon here to reveal the layer we move to the right. So here's the edges here. As you can see, they are going over the Canva here the image size here. So now if I click on this one, so here it is, the boundaries here of the layer. So now I'm going to merge these layers here. So here it is. 
and now I kept this one here renders in order to fill these transparent areas here so here it is so now I'm going to merge down these two so here it is and then right click layer to image size and now I just need to add some noise here so I'm going to create a new layer click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok and now I'm going to fill it with black so here it is and now go to filters noise and then CIE noise so here I'm just going to increase a little bit chroma here to increase the colors so here and now press ok and now I'm going to change the layer mode to screen and then reduce a little bit the opacity so here and now I'm just going to merge it down again so here it is and now I'm just going to create a new layer to add a vignette so click on this icon fill it to transparency and then press ok and now go to filters light and shadow and then vignette so I think I'm going to keep it here I think I'm going to keep it here and now press ok and now I can control for example the opacity here of the layer and then you can still for example select this layer here press the plus on your keyboard to zoom in go to filters distort and then click on shift as you can see it gives it kind of an edge so I'm just going to give it just a very slight one here I, do, I don't want to overdo it so here press ok so here it is and now I'm just going to merge down so here it is it's how you can create a glitch effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.